So we had six little babies hatch uh, probably about a week ago under the blue laced wind out and they are just super cute. I had them out in the grass for the first time today and they were super happy and then something was flying above a hawk or something so we just put them away so that everyone's safe but um, they're super cute and she's been a great mother so very happy about that. This is a bonus video. I've got more time on my hands now so I can make more videos which I'm really excited about but I'm not only just making videos I'm also looking after the farm looking after all the animals working on the house when Greg is at work so uh, there's no sitting around when you live off grid or homesteading so what I'm working on today is cleaning up the goat pen kind of where we've been storing all of their straw and we have 50 meat chickens showing up in a few days so I'm getting ready for them to arrive and they are day old chicks so they need heat and I just need to make sure we have a nice secure spot for them that, and then we're just gonna start growing these chickens so we can eat them. Plan is to build this little spot for them while they're young and then once they can go out we're gonna build a chicken tractor and move them over to kind of the pasture area that our neighbor has. I've just been pulling all of the straw that was left behind from the bales when we were feeding the goats over the winter. For now, I'm just building up the walls because currently it's plastic and we need something a bit more secure. No little nooks or crannies where the chickens can get stuck. That's just what's going on here. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I'm working with. So you can see here behind me, it's all plastic and it's just logs that uh, the structure is framed out of. So need to make sure that those little nooks and crannies are covered and the chickens can't get stuck in there because that will be nice for them. I'm just kind of looking for scrap plywood that is around laying around on our property. And I actually noticed a pile over in the forest that I had forgotten about. I was wondering what the heck am I going to use? And then I saw the pile. So. It's good when we uh, hide things in the forest for later use. <laughs>
Greg is digging into the old stump pile. Those are all the stumps from when we cleared our land originally. They all just kind of got piled over there and we weren't really gonna touch it because we figured it was just wood stumps and not very good fill, but turns out it's really nice topsoil. So instead of using it to make our lawn nicer or something, we're going to continue to level this out and kind of gradually have it meet up with the current lawn. Ideally, I want to level it all out, but I don't know if we're going to have enough fill. So stay tuned and we'll see how that goes. It's good. Back out here today, working on the meat chicken brooder, I guess. We'll call it. It's the space for the chickens of meat. Dinner. The dinner. <laughs> but they arrive as day olds, so. They sent them out the date, like day old? Yeah. Uh, how? Because when the chick is in the egg, there's a yolk sac mm -hmm. and it eats the yolk sac so that it doesn't have to eat right when it hatches. Oh. Huh. Kind of crazy, so they hatch on their way here? No, they hatch and then they send them while they oh. still have nutrients from that. Oh. Makes so. sense. Yeah, like I have to pick them up when Canada Post calls me and says your birds are here. Yeah. So tell me, what's the plan in here? I'm just trying to secure off the sides so that there's nowhere they can climb through and get stuck. And then we've got a heat lamp thing that we're gonna put in here, I think. It looks pretty old, so I don't even know how much power it'll draw. 300 watts, I'm guessing. Nice little spot for some chickens to grow up. How long do we keep them in here? Till they're feathered, and then... Four weeks? Yeah, I don't know. Three weeks, probably even. Who knows? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I gotta take off my hair. Laser. <laughs> it's not gonna work because it's gonna get wider. Heat lamp, and a feeder, and uh, a couple waters. Some water in the waters. <laughs> some feed in the feeders. Some chickens in the chicken spot. Yeah. Yes. It, this is not the ideal setup. <laughs> it's what we've got, and it's only for very small chickens for a little while. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. But the, it, when we get them out of there, it'll be good to get them out of there. Yeah. yeah. We might be getting them out sooner, but. I have a feeling our goats might have, because all we got to do is block this off, this whole thing off. And so the chickens can come in here? Mm hmm Oh. Yeah, so. It's a good idea. We may have to block this off and let the goats or just. Or build, we can just build a goat house over there. I work full time, Katie. You can just build a full. Yeah. But we can just move the goats over there. Yeah. Do you want to tell YouTube about your thing? I quit my job. And I'm, I'm a YouTuber. And? Are you, you're not looking at the camera, Greg. You're going like this. It's pointing right at you. I can yeah, see. but you're going like this. No, I'm not. Yeah, you wiggle all the time. Why'd you quit your job? Because I want to make videos. <laughs> and? and work on the property and stay home. And yeah, I'm officially, I went down to part-time and now I've just officially 
stopped working at my last job and I'm really excited and happy and grateful and yeah so make sure you like and comment and subscribe so our videos get lots of hit views hit the bell <laughs> like subscribe because <laughs> we need it <laughs> i need to get paid <laughs> i'm i'm proud of you <laughs> it's pretty exciting i'm not even going to try to plug Let's that go. in this is a fire right here. You want to start a fire? Just plug this in. There's flammable hemp inside the actual line, like inside the wire. I'll show you. Now, oh, the ground doesn't have it. Everything else had it. Had like, it helps keep the wire together, I guess. I don't know. I, I have no clue of why it would be like that. All right, we've uh, got this ancient chick brooder heat thing <laughs> and uh, it's too big it's too big for it's our big. it's like four or five six inches it's way too big for our space so plus it probably runs on thousand watts on low mm -hmm. four trillion on high so i've ordered these little chick brooder plates i'll put an amazon link down below to them they only draw 20 or 30 watts i can't remember what it said but they can take up to 25 chicks and we've got 50 coming so they're not going to be here in time, but I think if we have a heat lamp that it's probably going to be a little bit power hungry, but it'll hold us over until those show up. So yeah, we have a very awkward space for them. So it's hard to uh, get everything to fit. All right, got this. Uh, new extension cord and I'm going to be running it from the back of the bus into the little barn here and uh, get their little heat lamp set up. some uh, heat lamp bulbs and then I just grabbed these from the house, the lights we've been using. Hopefully they fit. <laughs> I was reading online that, that the red lights are better for chicks. So those are the ones that I got. All right, here goes nothing. Oh my goodness! Hello, little babies. Mm 
I'm just making sure they're, uh, they don't have little poopy bums. All right, we've got the, all the little babies are out. They're all drinking the water. I read somewhere that you need to show one how to get where the water is by just putting their beak in and they will show the others. And so that's what I did. A couple of them didn't really take, but one was kind of standing there. So I put him, put his beak in and started drinking. Got a couple heat lamps. I'm not really sure where they should go. Pooey. All right, it's been a couple hours and I wanted to come in and check on the little chicks, uh, see how they're doing. I kind of changed things around in there, so uh, yeah, I just want to check on them and see how everyone's settling in, make sure everyone's okay. All right, looks like everyone's doing good. I've got just one of the heat lamps on and they are all huddled under there and they seem to be coming out and getting food and water and then going back. So I think everything's okay. But I think overnight we're gonna put both of the heat lamps on just so that everyone is toasty and, and good. But, and then I'm also going to cover in, I'm using my uh, little cheapo Amazon greenhouse stand and I just have the heat lamps hanging off. But then I'm also going to take Reflect-X and close off the sides of the greenhouse so that the heat kind of holds in. <clears throat> and then, I mean, if that's enough heat, maybe we can get away with just one light on because it does draw 250 watts, which is going to be hard on our, our power system. But thankfully we're getting some good sunshine today. So yeah, so we've got 50 birds and the breed is Mistral Gree. They kind of look like barred rocks. This is a new breed for us, but um, they are super cute. So hopefully they are tasty as well. <laughs> Keeping with the theme of the video and uh, sustainable food, I guess you could say. I'm going to get the rest of our seeds in the ground. We do have quite a few plants in already. The, basically this half of the garden behind me here is free.
feeling pretty good about that. Got all of the seeds that I possibly could into the ground. We'll see how it uh, pans out once everything starts growing and sprouting. I did buy some landscape fabric to put up because we've got this wild arugula that is really living up to its name. It is insanely wild and it's just taking over everything. I'm gonna put landscape fabric in between plants, especially around the arugula right there. Mm -hmm. 